everything the name Can't do change in the game Doing my thing in my own lane Every time you see me, I'm hitting them switches Sliding through with something super vicious Who is this? Mr. Everything's the name Can't do change in the game Doing my thing in my own lane Every time you see me, I'm hitting them switches Sliding through with something super vicious Who is this? What's going on, everybody? It's Mr. Everything Bringing y'all low riders and horsepower, you dig? Rain, sleet, hell, snow, or shine, nothing, and no one stops the grind. Not even the haters on the sidelines. And today I'm in the 300. It's a nice, shiny day out here, you know what I mean? And it's time to get to them fog lights, you know what I mean? Go ahead and hit that like button, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But if you have, thank you very kindly. A lot of y'all that's actually coming to the channel are not actually subscribed. Y'all watching, and I appreciate that. But, you know what I'm saying, I need y'all to subscribe to that channel. And, you know what I'm saying, move me on forward. We almost at 900, and we're trying to get to that 1,000, you know what I mean? So, help me on out and hit that like button and subscribe. And so, about to get into the fog light, show y'all what I done done so far, how it looks, and then how it's going to look on the car when I'm done. So, just keep on watching. All right, I'm showing y'all what I got so far. So... Now, what you can see from here is you got basically four spots where the screws go on this one. I never paid attention because I never used them, so I never seen that that fourth little ear on there was broke. But it ain't going to matter because I still got screws that's going to go on the other three. And so, basically, I took this out. If you look where this tab is right here on both sides. Took that up out of there. And basically, just using the housings as uh, the bolting, uh, the you know, the screw points... <clears throat> And these screws back here, you know what I'm saying, is holding the fog lights in. It's like a Frankenstein, you know what I'm saying, type thing going on. But, hey, it's all going to work. Uh, I did actually go to look for shorter screws and purchase some shorter screws. But, for some reason, they did not work the same. So, I'm going to leave this in how it is here. Could actually take these and go a little bit up or down. Can adjust them up or down for however I want the projectile to go. But for right now, they're going to stay centered. This one I did pretty good. This one here, uh, if you look and see, see that the screws are off, that's because the hole, that's where the hole is. On this fog light, it was actually machined wrong. So the hole that you see where it's down here, and then if you look up at the left side screw here, you'll see that it's in another area that's because that's where the actual uh, mounts were so these were machine wrong which is why the price I guess is so super low that I couldn't resist them these didn't even cost $20 so that's why they probably you know so cheap because they probably have machining I mean not probably they do have machining issues so this is how we got this here and now it's time to slap them bad boys in you dig Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, it has a couple different uh, wires. Now, these longer wires here, there's some longer ones. These here are just to have the little the angel rings, just to have the ring lit up. If you want the actual bulb in the middle, then you use these two, positive and negative only. I don't know, I might hook up both to see if I can get them both at the same time. But if not, then the the, uh, the rings look better than the actual eye of the fog light. And then again, I would have to look at it at nighttime to see which actually looks better. But hey, I'm making it work, you know what I mean? All right, so we're coming outside, getting a look at everything. So here's what she looks like right here. Don't look too bad. Get a little closer in. She don't look too bad, not perfect, you know what I'm saying? But you already know, she's perfect for me. Now, uh, if you look, you'll see those wires hanging on each side. I'm not gonna do any wiring today because I gotta go either in the house and see if I got some wiring or I'm gonna end up going to a, a store uh, and getting some extra wiring because I'm gonna go ahead and run a toggle switch on in the inside of the car so I can, you know, Turn them on and off at the flick of a switch. So, just getting a look at them real quick. They don't actually look that bad. Uh, let me get close here. If you look, 
they're kind of sitting back off in there and I really didn't eyeball it like I was supposed to because if I did then I would have uh, paid attention and seen that I could have pushed I could have pulled those fog lights forward in that housing but I didn't want them to be exposed to the elements too much so it's kind of like a catch-22 it wouldn't have mattered even if I did pull them forward they probably yeah you'd probably get a, a better glance at them though but they don't look too bad I mean I did accomplish the mission which is to not have them too far out um, too far out but they actually could come forward some and I might take them down and I might not uh, I do plan on getting another front clip anyway so when I do get the front clip that's that's probably when I would uh, either use a new fog light or take these fog lights and then uh, mount them forward pull them forward more so that they kind of pop out in a way but hey I'm happy with it you know what I mean first time doing something like this where I just had to make something up you know it's different than just and I might just I might just go ahead and uh, order a set of the factory ones and then change the bulb so the bulb is a nice bright white not that old yellow because that's how they come because that's how these headlights are these headlights I got them brand new a couple years back before I put everything together and uh, they're yellow so I mean I would probably ride those bulbs out and once they once I got to replace them I'm gonna be replacing them with some silver stars or something else that's just a little bit brighter but hey I'm happy with it you know what I'm saying as for this thing I got something else uh, coming for her thinking about putting some sounds back up in this thing and uh, I got them I just got to get everything hooked up that might be the next video for y'all well, I hope y'all enjoyed that video um, when I come back get into uh, getting them all lit up and everything see how it look uh, probably would do uh, some footage of what it looks like at night or at least late in the evening so you can see how well uh, the setup looks um, I'm thinking about possibly changing uh, those mountain brackets and pulling those fog lights forward more so that uh, it would look better even just at a glance but you know I'm still you know what I'm saying it's my first time doing something like this I normally can always put uh, fog lights and things up the regular way that they're supposed to go with the factory style or even grabbing something just from a local store and putting them up but since these here are uh, me just doing some custom just to you know put some old fog lights back down there I say I did a pretty good job you know what I mean so appreciate y'all watching you could be anywhere watching anything but you right here watching mr. everything you know what I mean so Rain, sleet, hail, snow, or shine. Nothing, no one stops the grind. Not even the haters on the sidelines. I'm Mr. Everything, bringing y'all low riders and horsepower. You dig? Till next time, I'm out.